Okay, we're back again with another installment of How Ryan Adams Plays His Songs. This time we're going to do Oh My Sweet Carolina, one of his greatest songs, if not his greatest song, and one that he continues to play to this day after all these years. And there are a whole bunch of acoustic solo performances out there that you can take a look at and model off of. I've linked a few below. Um, the song is Cape on the Third Fret, and so we can play the E-flat harmonica in the instrumental break of the song. And the song consists of four chords, actually five, and four is a, the four first chord is C, G, F major seventh, and A minor, and the fifth chord is really like a G suspend, where you uh, do a G chord, but your index finger and middle finger are in the C chord position, so. And he uses that um, a lot in this song and other songs as well. Um, it's all open chords in the first position, as I've shown, and what makes the song work are the single note strikes, hammer rounds, and pull offs, <clears throat> as is typical with a lot of his songs. So the song starts off something like this. It's basically um, C with hammer-ons on the D string and G string, second fret. Um, and you strike that C note, or actually it's a D sharp <laughs> um, because of the capo, but um, C chord position at second fret, second string, uh, third fret. So it's then open a G string. Open G, hammers, open, and then, and then uh, D string, back to G string, open, and open D string, and that's the sequence. Boom, two on that open, open D string at the end, and that's basically what he does um, pretty consistently all the way through. He uh, finger picks it, but you can use a pick too to do that. And uh, those that progression is uh, uh, operates consistently throughout the song. So uh, when the singing part comes, uh, it's C, F major seventh, C. So, but with that rhythm. I went down to Houston and I stopped in San Antonio. G, one G, one strike G, and then that G suspend. And you want to get that effect on the transition. Um, sometimes on the uh, the F major seventh chord or F position chord on the first line, he hits that um, first fret uh, low E string, and then back to the C position, and he does it with his um, middle finger, he kind of moves his middle finger all the way over, which it's really hard for me to do. My hands aren't quite as big as flexible as his. Uh, but you can get that effect too. And when he's, sometimes he just strikes that note and lets it ring out. And with an amplified acoustic guitar, it works pretty well. So it might go something like this. Down to Houston, and I stopped in San Antonio. It's a little out of tune there, hold on. Let's try it again. But you don't want to play any chords. Then just shift. And you can kind of watch him do that. Now sometimes he does that, and then sometimes he doesn't. Okay? Um, and the third line of the verse is F, C, walk down. Cowboy chord walk down with a C, C, second fret. A minor, third string E, F major seven. So I passed up the station for the bus. All right. Okay. Trying to find me something, but I wasn't sure just what. And I ended up with pockets full of dust. C G C on the end, and then, and then the hammer on at the 
end of the verse. Okay, so that's the verse structure, and all the verses pretty much go that way. Um, and you can watch them do some slight variations and slight intonations and and um, different kind of uh, sonic effects that he does. But it's all those are the progressions that he uses. And then the chorus is A minor, F major seventh. And then you do that um, that uh, partial um, hammer on that you do in the uh, opening in, uh, instrumental part, like that, and then walk down with the second fret A string, and back to A minor, F major seventh, G, and then the G suspend, like that. So it's, uh, oh my sweet. And he does the shift on that sort of second syllable or second consonant of my sweet and compels. C compels is the, compels is the F major seven. So, oh my sweet Carolina. Walk down. What compels me to go? And Jesus bed. Three hammer ons there. May you one day G carry me. Then you can go right back into C, that instrumental part. But sometimes <clears throat> at the end of that um, second verse line, he does a rundown from the F major seventh. So uh, we'll go something like this. Oh my sweet. Carry me home. All right, so it's like it's all on the um, uh, D string, and then and hit that C. So third fret, second, open, third uh, third fret, A string. So. And that's basically the song. That's how it works. Um, watch him do it. Um, like I said, he's pretty consistent in the way he does it. Um, uh, when he does the instrumental part, or uh, the uh, instrumental break with the harmonica, he, he ends it often with just strumming rather than really picking. So it's like... So that's so you just can watch him watch him do that. And he ends the song on C, so So watch the way he ends the song. He's pretty consistent in the way he does it. Um, uh, and you, but it's the same chords. Um, uh, a minor, F C and there are a bunch of ways that you could do it too if you wanted to. But anyway, watch what he does it. Play along with him. Um, because the song is pretty easy from a chordal point of view. Um, the tricky part is, of course, the hammer-ons. Okay, anyway, there you go. Hope that's helpful. Thanks.